I have been under a chiropractor since 1997 and even though I got a lot out of it, and I still do, uh, having the Atlas alignment, I realise that it's more permanent, so I don't have to keep going back. Um, I still do uh, some conscious chiropractic work, which I really love, but I think that works more on the emotional side of my, myself. The actual physical side, I believe it's really helped my neck move more freely and it stays that way. I don't have to keep coming back and have it done again. What do you think? Yeah, well, I guess mum went to a chiropractor in, in 97 and encouraged, uh, encouraged me to go along and I thought I was fine. Um, I thought that I was going through world, uh, the world uh, pretty well. Um, and then I had a water ski accident where um, I, uh, I damaged my neck and um, when I thought to myself I really can't move my neck mum suggested let's go to the chiropractor now so we went <laughs> along and uh, the chiropractor we went to helped me out a hell of a lot and um, I was amazed at after probably eight or ten weeks I was starting to feel how I was supposed to feel um, and then I realized how far out of alignment I had been um, and the chiropractor was putting me basically back into line, which I thought was, um, thought was fantastic. Um, after hearing about what happens in this field and Freya's work, um, I was really intrigued by the Atlas and it sort of made sense to me. After I had my first session, what really made sense was I think the chiropractor was realigning me, but because my muscles and, and the way that I was sort of put together across my neck, um, it was pulling it back. Um, so the adjustments were working, but it wasn't a permanent, permanent Plus, solution. Yes. So um, knowing what I know now, um, I would love to have, if I could go back, um, to do chiropractor and Atlas at the same time when I felt it was the right time. Um, what's really interesting about where we're at now is as soon as I feel as though I'm not balanced or I feel a little sick, um, the first couple of things that come to mind, most people think about going to the GP. Uh, the first thing I think of is, what is my vitamin C intake at the moment? When can I book into the Cairo? I wonder if I can get a scalar bath? And do I need my Atlas alignment? And that's the, pretty much the four things that I go through first, um, through, through my mind, through my, uh, my thoughts, and then I work through them, and then I, when I start feeling better I think I look can then look back and go ah oh, that's what I needed I needed an adjustment yeah so the scalar bath um, I can't comment intelligently about what it does <laughs> because I don't really understand it but it made sense to me where you sit in a, uh, a spa bath and you have two paddles and within these paddles there's sound waves or some waves that pretty much go from paddle to paddle and, and through whichever part of your body you put the uh, the paddles next to or around and um, it really does flex flex your muscles and feel as though you've had a really um, deep massage after the first session um, it, I felt amazing I, uh, I I didn't know what to expect to be completely honest and as I was walking away I, I was thinking to myself it's like it's like I've had a massage but it's also like I've had a workout so I was a little bit sort of confused thinking I don't know if I should be sore or, <laughs> or I shouldn't be, but but what it did do is it made me feel brilliant. It made it made me feel more, I guess, grounded would be would be one word to describe it. But just yeah, I could really feel my body. So um, a couple of sessions after that, feeling really good.